In this video, I show you how to back up your pictures and videos from your Samsung Galaxy Android phone right there to an external SSD, portable SSD like the Samsung T7 Shield. Really fast USB transfer, USB-C really high, high speed transfer. And you have to, when you start, you have to make sure that the battery of the phone is above 50%, I would say, but it depends on your how many files you want to transfer. 71% on the phone, so that's really good. I used USB-C to USB-C cable from the provided from Samsung from the T7 Shield. This SSD, this portable SSD has USB-A to USB-C, which is connected to the computer, and the USB-C to USB-C is to transfer from the phone. You can move files from the phone to the USB external portable SSD, but I would really suggest that first you have two drives, two SSD, two portable SSDs, especially if the files are important, and you do on one, on the first SSD, do a copy, and then on the second one do a move. So you have two drives with the same files all the time. Like this, if something happens to the SSD, I had the issues, I had problems with this SSD actually, when I was transferring files, something was going wrong in Windows and some files were actually lost. So I really strongly suggest that you have two SSDs when you move files like this, or at least copy the files, copy them to the computer, make sure on the computer everything is okay, and then you can delete them from the phone. This is uh, really the safe way. If you only have one SSD, one portable SSD, so I will connect now. Before I connect the SSD, I want to show you the result notification here, and I use the files by Google app. I really suggest you use this app, it's from Google and it's really, it works pretty well with me, but you can use any file manager app, anything will work really. Here I have the internal storage, 253 giga free, but you might have less space, so you want to move some files from the phone. But first copy, make sure you put them, first copy the files, make sure you put them on the computer, and then delete them. You can move them on the phone to another folder. So I will connect now. This is the T7 Shield. There should be some light. Or, okay, it doesn't work. I'll spin it. Turn it the other way. So now it's blinking. That one is blinking there and it says USB is now available. And USB storage added. That's perfect. Charging the device, so it's, the phone is powering the USB. The phone is powering the USB SSD, the portable. They are made by the same brand, so I really hope they work well together. And now in the files manager, I can actually see here there is the shield. So I have I have here the T7 shield, 1.9 terabytes free. So I could create a new folder here test s23 ultra and now we have the folder here on the ssd that's on the ssd and i can copy some some videos you when you want to copy pictures or videos you want to go to the dcim folder and from here you will see for example screenshots you will have the screenshots, the camera folder. This is going to be, these are going to be large folders. Here on this phone, I have the copy to computer folder, so I can put a folder with today's date. So I know that I copied them to the SSD and to the computer. And when there is a need for space later, if I need to free up space, I can delete files from here. This is for sure, I know I created it. And you can create the folder just like that, test. And you can delete folders. Here, be careful with the deleting the DCIM folder though. <laughs> Inside the camera folder, you have all your pictures and videos. Screenshots will be all the screenshots. Okay, so I will, I will try to copy a few pictures, not everything. For example, I will, I will try, I will try to copy from the DCIM folder, the screenshots folder. So select, long press on the folder to select it. And then I say, I press on this three dot menu on the top there, right there, press on it, then copy to, on the bottom of the phone, I see the T7 shield, 
test S23 Ultra and then I have the option copy here. I, I like to put the phone on the table so I don't move it just in case that there is now no disconnection. I press copy here and it's going to take some time but it shouldn't take too long. In the meantime you see this one is blinking here. This. So it's really working on it. The XFAT file system or the, this SSD, this portable SSD drive is formatted with the XFAT file system, which is not very reliable for disconnections. You might actually lose data if you disconnect your phone. So I see it's still on there. I will not disconnect the phone. It's still blinking. It's still doing some things there. So it's not really finished. You see, it's still blinking. I will not disconnect it until it's finished with its blinking because I want to make sure that there are no data file, no files lost there. Now the screenshot folder, I could move it to the copy to PC or I could take the files from inside there. So now it's off. And do a save disconnect. Scroll, open the quick settings menu. And when it says USB storage added, tap unmount to safely remove it. Okay, no lights. And now I can remove the cable. Those files now are both on this USB. Those files now are both on the T7 shield, on the Samsung T7 shield, and on the phone. So this is also a way to back up your phone. If you have pictures and videos you don't want to lose, you can copy them to the SSD and have them also on the phone. And I will show you now. Like if I wanted to go into the folder to in the folder here, I could really simply go to the folder, select one file, then on the top here, select all. And I could choose to move to the folder copy to computer, for example, so I know that they are copied. I could do that easily. This is it's just for a test now. I'm not actually transferring any files now, but these files are now also on the USB. It's always good to have them at least in two places. You could even have two external SSD drives and on the phone. After you copy them to the computer and you're sure everything is okay with the files, you can delete them from the phone so that you free up space on your phone. But you should always have these files, especially videos and pictures you took with your phone, which if they are important, you should have them at least in two places, even three places. Thanks for watching.